there's a couple of your old teammates that have new jobs, Craig Connor and Jerome McGinley. What, uh, what are your thoughts on the developments of the last six months? A very different front office than the one we saw around Christmas. It is definitely different. Um, you know, it's great. Connie, uh, you know, Connie's, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to play with both of them for a long time. Um, and you know, Connie is one of them guys that, you know, his, uh, his whole persona, his, you know, as a, a guy you see as a leader, um, that kind of thing. Um, and him coming in and, you know, leading the, he's been around a long time, put his dues in. Yeah. You know, I used to live, Connie used to live right behind me when I lived in West Hillhurst. And Check. I, uh, when he first retired and he started working out as a special assistant to the GM kind of thing, I never seen the guy. I saw his, like the girls and, mm -hmm. and, uh, his wife and the girls all the time. The girls babysat for us once in a while, but he was always Connie was on the road. Yeah. He was, he was on the road 20, 25 days a year. He's put his time in, you know, Connie is such a nice guy. And, and, uh, you know, that's one thing that, you know, he is, he is loyal, uh, you know, obviously bringing drone back in. He wants to bring some, you know, people around him that he knows and, you know, has that loyalty to, and, you know, put a group together. He's got, you know, he's done a good job and he's, you know, he's got mentors. He's mentored under, you know, so many good top execs in the game and learned the process and learned the role. Right. And, uh, you know, for him, I, I'm excited for him. I think Connie's going to do a great job. Um, you know, it's going to be, it'll be interesting this next year. You know, he, a lot of things have changed and, you know, players have demanded what they've wanted and they've kind of got what they've wanted. So now it's, it's in their hands, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's a whole new, whole new coaching staff, you know, not new coaching staff, but different new head coach, new head coach, couple new assistants, um, new yeah. assistants. And, you know, it's at the point now where, you know, it's, it's on the players now. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, that was one thing when, 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 uh, when tree had brought in, uh, Daryl, he's like, the coach isn't going anywhere. Like, we're going to figure out what's going on here yep. and do that kind of thing. And, you know, Daryl had his time and, and, you know, he taught a lot of guys, a lot of great things. You know, I was at a game this or right before the year before Johnny kind of left. Right. And yep. you know, I was sitting there in warm up and Johnny's dad was sitting there. So I went and sat beside Johnny's dad. He's like, you know what? Um, you know, he, we kind of talked about the coaching and that kind of stuff. And he goes, he goes, he goes, I love Daryl as a coach. Daryl's done so much for Johnny as a player and you know, that kind of thing. And that Avenue, right. And like, you hear that from, you know, guys and, you know, look at Johnny, look at Chucky. They've had some of their best careers under yeah. Daryl. Right. And it's, you know, that whole transition stage now. So it's, you know, um, unfortunately it didn't work out for Daryl with, uh, you know, you know, the team last year kind of thing, but now that they have that new step coming in and, you know, Ryan's going to come in and do a good job and, you know, but it's on the players now. So yep, it's, time it is. Them, it's time for them to step up and that's, you know, that's where it's at now. There's a few excuses that you can't fall on anymore. It's time to, for the players to show up. And I think it'll be an intriguing year. There's still lots of talent there. And there is they didn't bring in a guy that they didn't like that. The new coach is a guy the organization really likes that they've groomed to be a head, a head coach. Ditto with Connie as a GM. Uh, and they're first time guys, but they've been learning the ropes for a while. I'm Absolutely. fascinated to see how it goes. Yeah, no, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm excited to see it all play out. And, you know, obviously we'll get back to your question really about Connie and Iggy, like Iggy's coming in, like, you know, Iggy's just kind of getting his feet wet now, I think. Mm -hmm. right? Obviously he wants to, I'm guessing he wants to finish coaching his kids in Kelowna. Joe's and, got one more year yeah, at U15 so, or U15 age group. And then he's into the Western league. And yeah. I think you'll see a lot of Jerome, not that you haven't already, but once for sure uh, this time in a year. Yeah, exactly. Full time. It'll be, uh, you know, it'll be different, you know, different look again. Right. And, you know, obviously I think, you know, with them too, and their, you know, the hockey minds that they have and the create and, you know, just with the two of them, like there's a lot of experience there. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that, uh, between the two of them and the rest of the staff, like, you know, they, the, between the, you know, the pro scouting guys and the rest of management, they've been around a long time. Right. And, uh, to collaborate and, you know, it's, but it's, it's cool to have, uh, you know, two alumni in there now and, uh, you know, kind of taking over the ropes. 